Basic Rights Oregon has three main priorities. Uh, we work from a strategic plan that was developed with input from the community broadly. We've prioritized work that impacts members of our community who have often been left behind. That includes our trans justice program and our racial justice and alliance building work. And our third priority, of course, is building majority support for the freedom to marry. In our racial justice and alliance building program, the primary focus there is both um, lifting up the voices and the leadership of LGBT people of color um, and uh, more authentically engaging communities of color. The Our Families campaign is aimed at sharing the stories of LGBT families of color, their unique experience, their unique struggles and triumphs, their stories of coming out, the way in which they um, both uh, relate to their families of origin and create their own families. Um, and it's just, re again, really powerful um, and exciting stuff and, you know, not the kind of thing that's happening anywhere else. I met this um, transgender friend started telling me that she's always felt that she was a, a female a girl. And I'm like, well, that's how I felt. As soon as I put on that, like, beautiful long wig <laughs> and this beautiful sexy dress, I was like, oh my god. I just felt like, it was like this, this the, the clouds from heaven, like, opened up. And I was like, ha ah, ha you know, and I was like, oh my god, this is me. If my parents didn't accept me, I may not have been uh, the best person that I want to be and that I hope to become. 자랑스러운 정말 자랑스러운 거는 어디를 가던 어 자니 네 아들이냐 정말 걔 좋은 애다 이렇게 말해줄 때 정말 기쁘고. What I love about my mom is that she has the most solid foundation around how she wants to live her life and our family's life. It's what moves me and inspires me, and keeps me happy and centered. Our trans justice work is primarily focused on um, increasing access to health care and, in, and health insurance. Um, these priorities were set, you know, sort of by and for trans Oregonians through um, a lot of community input, and we have a trans justice working group. The primary campaign this year was working with the City of Portland to establish fully inclusive health insurance for, um, for city employees. After paying for rent, food and bills, health care, I am barely surviving. Surgery is $8,000 and unless I win the lottery, I really don't see a way of me getting it. So I appreciate your time. Thank you for hearing us. Let's live the values of our Constitution, equal treatment under the law. You can provide health care, you make our lives a little easier to get by on a daily basis. The one thing I can tell you for sure is that every organization that takes a step toward recognizing us as human beings helps to lift that burden of living as who we are. This is about the sanctity of human life and respect for human dignity. To the trans community of Portland who uh, each and every day make this city a better place and it's uh, really my honor and privilege to serve on a city council where we can bring an ounce of fairness. It was very moving, incredibly moving stuff. And we won, and we love to win. Hi. <laughs> it's great. Yeah. And every time we win, we're that much closer to the vision for an Oregon and a world where people really are able to be everything that they are and to contribute everything that they have to give. Oregon is one of nearly two dozen states where the only path to marriage equality is a vote of the people. And we've been working for the last three years to build a really robust education campaign outside the heat of a political fight. Building an education campaign where Oregonians can talk about the ways in which marriage matters to all of us, that it's about love and commitment and caring for one another in good times and bad. Part of that education campaign is uh, TV ads. We've been married for 27 years. We've been together for 10 years. Well, actually 33 years. Legally. We've been, we've been married 31 years. Next month, we celebrate our 57th anniversary together. Getting married is about making that special vow in front of family and friends to be together forever. No one should be treated differently for any reason. We're all human. I would just say love is love. You know, it belongs to everybody. 
It's really on our terms. These are our stories, um, our LGBT community and our family and our friends and our neighbors. Um, and we are sort of, in a sense, taking charge in the way that we've never had the chance to do before. You know, for so many years we were under attack at the ballot, you know, 20 years of year in and year out having our families attacked and our very dignity under attack at the ballot. And so this education campaign has really felt um, empowering in a lot of ways. We're here to celebrate what ignites us and to stoke the fire in each one of us to ignite this movement for change. 